Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to talk about Vince Garonda's routine for definition. Now, Vince actually used this routine for his own physique preparation. He didn't just make it up, it's tried and tested by the Iron Guru himself and I hope you enjoy it. The program, according to Vince Garonda, should be performed for nine months. That's how long, according to Vince, it really takes for a natural bodybuilder to actually be defined, to get that muscular look. The 10 by 10 made famous by Charles Poliquin, but its origina originator may have been Vince Garonda. The 10 sets of 10 reps is actually used per body part for the first three months. Subsequently, for the next six months, one would use the eight by eight sets by eight reps made famous by Garonda himself in the 60s and 70s for each body part. However, for calves, 20 reps would be performed per set instead. Why? Because it's such a stubborn body part. It's very important to understand that breath control, that is hyperventilation as well as deep breathing are both incorporated into the program as I've done in my previous video and explained it. One would use hyperventilation in the recovery of each set with very short rest in between each set. This actually combination of hyperventilation, breath control and short rests makes this type of workout a cardiovascular type of workout negating that is without the need of cardio uh, type of exercise. Remember Vince and back in those days cardio equipment did not exist and it was almost frowned upon um, to be done in any kind of bodybuilding program. The program itself is split into uh, alternate days where on one day you would train the upper body and the next day the lower body. In total, upper body is, is uh, trained three days a week and the lower body is also trained three days a week. Importantly, only one exercise is performed per body part and the exercise that is chosen will determine uh, the area that needs to be highlighted. And this is the genius, I guess, of Vince Garonda once again. Vince chose the particular exercise uh, based on what was needed for the particular physique. If a a particular bodybuilder required more peak in his biceps or better lateral uh, head development in the triceps, sweep in the thighs, or that teardrop muscle, peak in the calves, uh, low delineating um, chest development, wider lats, wider delts, etc. The correct exercise, that is specialization, would be used, and the and the one particular exercise would be used to bring out this. Uh, but particular lagging aspect of the muscle. He also believed that if more exercises, more than one was uh, given per body part, the body would not be able to recover. And so therefore, specialization will be determined by the exercise chosen. The program could look like, I guess, <laughs> it's really hard to say because Vince actually wrote so many types of this program. And you'll see examples right now. For abs, hip rolls, frog sit-ups, leg raises were uh, were chosen, and any of these could be could be used. For pectorals, usually uh, neck presses or wide grip garonda dips, as shown in this picture from the internet, would also be used. Lats, it could be um, usually though it was uh, cable rows done in a particular way by Vince Garonda. This was usually uh, what was chosen, but there could have been many other exercises. For the biceps, uh, typically Vince chose the preacher curl. For forearms, it was wrist curls. But for the triceps, it could have been extensions. It could have been cable pushdowns, etc. Delts usually, usually uh, was lateral raises to bring out the lateral head. Here is another example of a program that I've seen on the internet where you can see that completely, in some cases, completely different exercises are chosen. For example, for the chest, you've got decline cable flies. For the biceps, there are reverse curls, 
right? Um, so different exercises could be chosen by Vince. Again, depends. it depended entirely on the physique that needed to be shaped uh, and what was lagging in that particular physique. He would look at it, assess it, and give the correct exercise. Looking at the lower body now, um, for calves and thighs, different exercises were used again. For example, for calves, he could have chosen donkey calf raises or leg press calf presses. For thighs, it could have been the hack slide, the sissy squat, or Smith machine squats. Here, an example of the hack slide is given. Again, on the internet, here is another program where we can see, for example, for the thighs, we are looking at um, uh, front, that is front squats performed on a block, donkey calf raises, uh, vacuums for the abs, leg extensions. So many different exercises could be chosen by, by Vince and this would really uh, bring out and highlight certain aspects that were lagging in the physique. So I just to, I guess to sum up and, and recap, uh, Vince's routine for physique preparation was actually a real holistic approach. It didn't just involve uh, involve a, a diet, which I haven't explained, but it was the maximum definition diet, mainly the steak and eggs, which you may have heard, and I will do a separate video on it. It used the diet, it used breath control, it used volume and frequency, and more importantly, specialization of the particular exercise to bring out and highlight certain uh, lagging body parts. Vince really was a genius. He really thought of everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.